I tell you what, my hair is so frizzy. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah or Hand Grenade and welcome back to the 31 days of horror. As suspected, I'm running late, um, <laughs> but this is me and I can only apologise um, and try to get things out on time. I'm not very good at that, I'm sorry. That being said, just a recap of what 31 Days of Horror is. Basically, I'm watching 31 horror movies across the month of October and reviewing them and putting it up here on YouTube. Uh, each film needs to be a film that I've never seen before and is also readily available on UK streaming services. Also, if you hear the rain, I'm sorry, I can't stop that. <laughs> that being said, let's talk about Tremors. Tremors is a 1990 horror comedy directed by Ron Underwood and starring Kevin Bacon and Fred Ward uh, as our heroes who are helping the locals in a basically a desolate town escape from giant underground worm-like creatures. It's a very simple premise like it's it, it's not trying to be anything more it does what it says on the tin. You can find this film on Amazon Prime and Netflix UK. Yeah, so give it a watch and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I I'm I'm I really want to see what people think about Tremors. <laughs> I I've heard so many positive things. I don't know why I slept on this movie for so long. I've had my parents recommend it to me. I've had other horror fans recommend it to me and I've recently had two wonderful people in my Twitch chat recommend it to me as well. So I finally decided now's the right time to check it out, I suppose, and I I should have watched this sooner. This is such a fun film. It know this film knows exactly what it is and it's not trying to convince you that it's anything more and I commend that. Like sometimes a film you just want a bit of stupid fun. You don't want to be over analysing everything. You don't want to be thinking, um, what's the deeper meaning of this film? I wanna see some people survive against giant worms that live underground. I don't need anything else. Also, I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit shot. I've been, <laughs> I was up all night helping someone with the stream uh, and there was a lot of talking, <laughs> so. <laughs> Maybe this was just me, um, but I got a very Spielberg-like vibe from it. I'm not saying that it's in the same sort of vein as those kind of things, but it felt like the whole feeling and emotional reaction I got from it was that kind of, uplifting kind of Spielberg feel that I get from films um kind of like I don't know the end of Jaws and stuff like that when things are like go positively and they've conquered it that kind of thing it makes me quite it I don't know I, re I just really <laughs> enjoyed that kind of Spielberg type vibe I don't know if other people got that um but it's definitely something that I got from the film I'm not saying <laughs> that it's got the same sort of storytelling as Jaws I should probably point that out but yeah no it it was definitely something that i enjoyed and it was a feel good it was a feel good film it, i left it feeling happy you know does that make sense i really don't know one of the things i really enjoyed about this film was just watching the characters keep coming up with more and more ways to avoid um these monsters um and how to counteract them i found that quite ingenious like they're constantly working like okay so we go in the buildings oh no shit okay we gotta go on the roof oh no shit okay you gotta stay still oh i can't speak can't do that like i was enjoying that i was like wow this is just keeps adding to it and it was it was creating some sort of suspense you didn't want i these characters were enjoyable characters i didn't want to see them die uh except Melvin. Melvin was completely a plot device used to just create more situations so that the Graboids could come in and harass everyone. He was literally like the most annoying character in the film. But that's probably one of my only nags at the film, my only nitpicks. Like, this film is fun. I, and you know, the acting is at that level where they're not trying to overact, but they're not also trying to be playing it completely seriously like they walk that kind of fine balance that's very very hard to walk in this sort of films like it's usually one way or the other and it doesn't work so that, that, that I enjoyed that too I very much enjoyed that too just a tiny little bit of spoiler talk it's the only kind of spoilerific scene that I want to talk about there's a scene 
when two of the characters who are very much like you have the right to bear arms and have all the guns in the world that kind of thing um they are attacked in their basement by one of the giant worms and they're like shooting all the like all this ammo into it and then they realize oh shit we're out of ammo <laughs> And then the camera kind of pans and you see a whole wall of guns and it literally gave me like the biggest belly laugh. I was not expecting it. It was very funny. I, I like, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I should have expected something like that from this film, especially from those characters, but it, it that's, it just happened and it, it, it made me laugh. <laughs> Anyway, um, I highly recommend this film to anybody. You don't need to be a horror fan to watch it. I think this is fun for everyone. It's a monster movie where people are trying to escape giant worms. Uh, what more could you want? Like, <laughs> you got you got Kevin Bacon. You got giant worms. You got you know a love interest. You got like all the kind of parts that make a good monster film so i really really recommend this to anyone it is a it is a whole lot of fun it's one of those popcorn movies where you can just put it on switch off your brain and just enjoy the next 90 minutes definitely one i recommend very highly i i can't say much else to be honest <laughs> i rate this film a graboid ass end but yeah, thank you uh, everyone for watching. Please let me know what you think of Tremors. Make sure to check it out if you haven't seen it yourself and come back. Let me know what you think about it. I, 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 I'm sad that I slept on this film for so long and I'm sorry. Oh, do you know what? Kevin Bacon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So if you want to keep up to date with me, uh, you can find me over on Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd. My username is literally the same just hand grenade um i'll leave links in the description below i also stream a few times a week on uh twitch so be sure to go over to my channel and check that out as well same username again links in the description and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching bye starring kevin bacon and fred west as our fred west not fred west <laughs>